Hello, I'm Don Sibley. I'm with Environmental Health and Safety. I'm also the Biosafety Officer for the University of Central Florida. And we're going to discuss the new requirement for face coverings. These cloth face coverings, like this one that's got the UCF logo on it, are going to be required for all personnel coming onto campus during the first phase of the restart. They'll have to wear face coverings from before they enter the building and through the entire time they're within the building during the research till after they leave. These required face coverings are not necessarily commercial. They may be made at home. They may be purchased from non-traditional vendors. So I'm going to initially discuss what's required of these uh, face coverings. First, we want them to be cloth so they're washable and reusable, so they're not disposable. Second of all, they need to be seamed or sewn in such a manner that their seams will survive machine washing and drying. Second of all, they need to be combined, made of at least two layers of cloth. This is to provide the resistance to airflow that the mask is designed to uh, perform. The last thing is they need to have a tie or ear loop to fix them to your face. And here's a instruction on how to don and doff the face coverings. First thing, before you put it on, you should always wash or sanitize your hands so you don't contaminate the face covering. Second of all, inspect all the seams and the ties or loops to make sure that they survived washing intact. They're not opening up and the mask has maintained its integrity and essential shape. Every one of these is somewhat different. If it has two ties, you're gonna to have to put them on differently than this, which essentially has one tie. If it has ear loops, it will go over just your ears. For this one, I'm gonna demonstrate how it goes on. The first loop goes over your head, and the second tails of this attachment tie behind your neck with the mask pull tight and secure against your face. Once you have the ties tight, make sure the fit on your face feels good. Then blow into your hand. You should not feel the air flowing through your mask to your hand. That provides a proper fit and a proper function to this mask. When you finish the use of the mask at the end of the day and you're going home and you're taking this off, what you want to do before you touch the mask or your face is sanitize and wash your hands. After your hands are clean, then reach back and untie the ties or pull the loops off your ears and then lift the mask off your face. After you've removed the mask, it needs to go into a bag or wrapped in a towel or something for protection until you get home to wash.